Mommy here today to do a packing video for all of you. This gorgeous bag here, you guys, is my MC Wallace Crosby Hobo. Now, if you've been here before, you might have seen me unbox this lovely as well as the wallet that's inside of it. If you haven't seen that video and you're interested in seeing this bag and the wallet inside this bag empty and a full walkthrough, go ahead and check the iCards above or the description box below. I will link that video so you can get a full empty detailed look. But today I'm going to show you guys what fits inside this bag. Now, I'm a big bag girl. I typically like a very large bag, but this bag spoke to me because I love this chain on this bag. I'll let you get a really close look. This is a braided leather and metal chain, and it's stunning. So in order to get that chain, I needed to get this bag. And my friend Nicole, who's a little happy mom, she warned me that this bag has a very narrow profile. And so I'll show you that here. So this bag, while it looks kind of like a decent sized bag this way, it is actually very narrow. It has a very narrow footprint. And you can see right there, it does have the MZ Wallace diamond logo at the bottom. So this is much smaller than I normally carry, but I did pack everything that I needed to pack in here. It carries beautifully. Now this bag does carry four ways. You can carry it with this chain. Now I don't, I use this as a decorative piece. You can also carry it with this stunning shoulder strap. Now this shoulder strap is full grain Italian leather. It does match the bag and it does have the beautiful MC Wallace logo hardware. So stunning. Now this strap I would use if I was going to take this bag out on a more formal night. Like if I was going to go out on a date with my husband or we were going somewhere. But for an everyday carry when I'm out with my kids, I use this for a decorative piece. And then I carry the bag typically over my shoulder or crossbody with the fabric woven strap here. So right now it's adjusted for me to wear a crossbody. I'm short. So this is a very long forgiving strap, you guys. I'm short, but I'm very chesty. We went to Costco. I wore this crossbody the entire time. So you can see how much strap I have left, you guys, to wear this crossbody. Um, and I can wear it over my shoulder like this. Like I said, I don't use this chain to wear it over my shoulder. I use it as a decorative piece. So this is a more casual look for me. But if I was going to go out with hubby, like he really wants to go out to the movies this next weekend and go out to dinner, possibly, I'll probably use this strap should I wear this bag. So... Not that the movies is upscale, but you know what I mean. It's always nice to get dressed up and go out with your significant other or your girlfriends or your guy friends or whoever the case may be. All right. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with MZ Wallace, their hardware comes in silver or in gold, depending on the print or the color. Now, this particular one is rose and it comes with a silver hardware. Now, I'm a silver hardware girl through and through. Some people are more gold. I do gravitate towards the silver, so I love this pink. It's the most beautiful, pale, neutral pink, and it has silver hardware, you guys. This color just spoke to me in a way that I, I couldn't even tell you the last time a bag color spoke to me like this. But let's go ahead and jump on into how I have this bag packed up. We'll go ahead and start on the outside. So again, you just got a nice look at the MZ Wallace logo right there. It's nice and understated. And you'll go ahead and see that all of the trim on here is the Italian leather, and it is the same color as the bag. Now, because this is the Crosby line, it does have the metal zippers. Some of the MC Wallace lines use a chunky plastic zipper, but the Crosby line does use a metal zipper. Now, on the side here, I also have attached my clip-a bag hook. Clip-a bag hooks come in two sizes. They come in a 33 pound and a 45 pound. This is the old school 45 pound one. They're hard to find. A 33 pound one is the one that you'll normally find. I will link this down in the description box below. But if you are like me and you are germaphobe and you do not like your beautiful bags to touch the ground or anyone else, you need one of these clips. They are invaluable. And if you have little kids, like my little girls, they think this is a bracelet. They like to wear it. So there's that. And then on this side here, I just attached this really fun little charm. I got this off Etsy. I'll go ahead and link it below. You can customize it. Mine says, hey, ma. So it's a joke in my house that you have four evolutions as a mother. It's mama, mommy mom and now I'm hey ma so my oldest two my oldest is almost 29 and my youngest is seven so I have them the whole ages but my oldest two call me ma which I never thought I'd be a ma in my life but it's funny they say hey ma but enough about that now this bag is fantastic it has the three zippers on the top you have the opposing zippers here and then the main compartment zipper each one has one zipper so we'll go ahead and we'll start in this front pocket right here and again, you have this beautiful matching interior lining. And I don't think I have anything in here. This is where I put my cell phone. It's a really nice, easy grab pocket. And if I want to be getting in and out to my phone, I just don't zip it. And then back here on this pocket, I kind of have like my sunscreen and stuff. So I have a hand sanitizer, my touch lamp hand sanitizer. I have a Tubby Todd sunscreen stick. I have a lotion. 
and I have another sunscreen. So we live in California. Sun care and skin cancer are no joke. And before we jump into this main pocket right here, let's go ahead and look at the back side of the bag, you guys. So on the very back side of the bag, you do also have a zipper compartment. And I typically put receipts and stuff in here. I'm not sure what I have in here right now. Oh, one of my children got invited to a birthday party. I have a disposable potty seat cover. The tag for my bag because I keep all of the tags if anybody wants to see that. Oh, and a little thing, another birthday thing. It's the end of the school year here for my kiddo, so there's been lots of party invites. All right, now to the main compartment of the bag. Now this bag does have a tail. You can see I have my tail tucked in because I don't like it to hang out, but you do have a little bit of a tail. But this is what my bag looks like fully packed before I take anything out. So you have the two slip pockets, the two leather trimmed slip pockets here, and then you have the one leather trimmed zipper pocket here, and then you have the Metro card pocket right there. Let's go ahead and start on these pockets right here. This one should have a lip, lip product. Yep, I have a lip product. And then this pocket right here has a pouch also from Etsy. This has my time in the month supplies in it. What's this? Oh, a submarina card. All right, that obviously didn't make it to my wallet. And then we'll go ahead right here and pull out right here. This is my full size long Crosby wallet. Love this wallet so much. And then this is what the bag looks like. Everything's kind of falling over. So right here, this is a pouch from Hobonichi. Now Hobonichi is a Japanese planner brand. This is a Marie pouch. This was for 2022. I believe they still have it on their site. They do also have some Hobonichi stuff on Amazon. If I can find it, I will link it in the description box below. But in here, I just have snacks for my kiddos, some protein bars, some fruit bars, some of those organic meat sticks from Costco and some of the um some of these water things because again i have some liquid iv it gets very hot here i want to make sure my children are always super hydrated All right now this is what the bag looks like again everything's falling over this is another little pouch that i love and this is just some of my makeup stuff and then in here i have some little antibacterial wipes Okay, two more things in the main compartment of the bag. So right here, this is a Welly tin. Now Welly is one of my favorite bandage brands. And this tin used to have band-aids in it, but I've repurposed it. And this is now a medication pouch for me. So I have in here, this is migraine medication, a cough drop, some spare contacts, some eye drops. This is a little case that has most of my blister packs that are like this. So this has some Claritin, this has, uh, you know, all kinds of things. I mean, if it's in a blister pack and I need it for my kids, I have it. And I have some powdered Tylenol and some Dramamine. All right, now the very last thing in the interior pocket of the bag is my first aid kit. And this is by Keep Going First Aid. And I love this. This is their little mini pouch. It's super comprehensive. Now, for those of you who don't know, I'm a first aid CPR instructor on the side just because, you know, life's not busy enough. And I hope I had some more Claritin in there too. I forgot that to put that in there. So this is just a really comprehensive little kit. Um, I normally feel like I have to add a whole bunch of things to first aid kits. This is the first brand that I've really come across where I didn't feel like I had to do a lot of things to it to make it perfect for my family. So I do have a discount code for them if you're interested. Go ahead and link it down in the description box for you. Now this bag does have a key leash. You can attach anything to this that you want. And then I don't have anything in my metro pocket right here. And then back here, in this really cute pocket, this is some quick grab items. I have another potty seat cover. And I have my little coin purse because I don't like to put coins in my wallet. And I have some Crest toothbrushes. Let's see here. Oh, my mints. Let's see if I can get this out one-handed here. You guys have not tried these they are delicious let's see here anything else here oh yep so uh, a few years ago my daughter fell dancing and broke her arm and had to have emergency surgery and after that i learned that i wanted to keep my medication with me at least one dose at all times so i have one dose of my medications that i take every day so i always have that with me oh and the very last thing i have in here 
is a chain for my mask. So some of the places we go, we still wear a mask. So have my chain. Well, that's it, you guys. That's everything that was inside this Crosby Hobo. It was very full. It carried everything that I needed. It's not too heavy. It still maintains a beautiful profile. And as you can see, when this bag is empty, it's just a big puddle of mush, which is just so lovely. I, I just, I love it so much. Well, that's it for me, you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you like what I'm doing, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.